Hey, everybody out there. It's time for another episode of Payne Auto Talk with me, Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team, brought to you by Payne Auto Group Valleywide and PayneAutoGroup.com, where we have what you want. Lo que tu quieres, regardless. And today on Payne Auto Talk, we have one of our very own from the digital wing of Payne Auto Group's marketing, and that is the lovely Miss Jocelyn Josie Marquez. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you here. You are the one that when Payne Auto Talk is posted online, it has those wonderful graphics, and that comes from your mind, from your talent, from your fingertips onto everybody's screen, right? Yeah, my little corner at my desk. Awesome, awesome. Now, Jocelyn, uh, we've worked together now for a while. Yes. And you started out here as an intern, correct? Yes. So was that straight out of high school or or right into college? Right into college. It was like my last semester Mm -hmm. receiving my associates, and I needed some internship hours. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was going to be hard uh, finding a job. That has to do with my degree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody is like, not everybody, but like teaching, nursing. And mm-hmm. I was like, what am I going to do? You were an outsider? Yeah. Like everybody, yeah, because everybody else is doing the traditional stuff. Yes. And I came across an, uh, an ad or something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I applied. And now I'm Was here. it a digital ad? <laughs> yeah, it was. See, it was. <laughs> yeah. So there you were. And I know like you're classmates yes they're like i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna go do that and and all of a sudden you're saying i'm gonna do this did you get any funny looks or what's well that mean? yes because our program at the time was architecture and technical graphics oh yeah so everybody was doing the architecture side mm-hmm. and i was like i don't want to do that i want to do the graphics mm-hmm. and um yeah it was like a lot of researching and coming across and I found Paint Auto Group and I was like, wait a minute. I thought they just sold cars. <laughs> like that's all. Yeah, we there's a whole lot of other stuff. When we were, and even in digital, we I believe wear many hats. Yes. And so you wanted to do the graphics side of it. And when you got here, what what were you expecting as to what you encountered? I have no idea. I thought I was just gonna be talking to people, taking a picture, and that's it. Like And just upload the picture online, that's it. Yeah. And my parents were very, uh, like, I think it's a scam. (laughs) Oh, they they were skeptical about this. Very, very, yeah. They're like, "Uh, I think it's a scam. I don't think this is, like, a legit, like. They were scared. They were scared. (laughs) Taking pictures and putting it online. Yeah. This this doesn't sound good for our daughter. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Yeah. As a dad, I'm like. Yeah, Dad, I'm, I'm going to load pictures up and put them online. What what are we talking about here? And then you're, <laughs> and as a parent, your mind starts racing. So yeah, I can get that. But when you did show up and you saw what was going on, oh yeah, I was very surprised. I was like, whoa, this is like more than I thought. Like the flyers, business cards, everything. Like it was a lot more. Two minutes after you're here, you text your folks. It's legit. <laughs> it's, it's legit. Re- <laughs> Cool. And uh, with the street team, I remember you going uh, with us. Uh, that was some of your duties assigned to certain spe- uh, doing events and stuff and you being in the booth. And, and I will say you did a great job. You did a great <laughs> job working with folks and everything. But your talent has always been this graphics edge. Did you what, what made you think about graphics? Well, I always thought graphics was what I wanted to do ever since high school. Um I had joined some yearbook club, and mm-hmm. I was like, hey, I'm actually pretty good at this. Um, like, this is what I wanted to do. But once I started working here, I actually started working when Payne was transitioning. Yeah, from yeah, that was. To the yeah. new one. And when Payne Insurance was being added. Yeah. So I remember seeing all those mock-ups, and I was like, I love this. Like, yeah, doing all the, the layouts mm-hmm. and everything. And and I know sometimes uh, they'd ask you, oh, well, be creative with this. And it's like, yay, I get to not just cut and paste, but yeah, you get to and, actually create. Yes. And, well, this department, they, like, Sarah was very good at um, expressing myself. Like, yeah. Letting the team run with the yes. ball. Yeah. Like, whatever is going, whatever is trending, whatever you think, do it. Cutting edge. Yes. Yeah. And I've noticed that. I mean, I remember sending you for the paint auto talk graphics. I was like, can you do something like this? And, you know, I'm just doing a little bit of Photoshop on my phone. You know, it's like I meme, therefore I am, you know. <laughs> and uh, I sent you some stuff and we got it back. And I went, wow, that's a 
heck of a lot better than what I did. <laughs> Thank God we have somebody who knows what they're doing. So I'm better at the squawking and talking. But yeah, the digital side, you um, even our uh, our illustrious, beautiful LED billboard. Yes. That's your work, right? Yes, I love it so much. That's one of my favorite things. That's just because I drive every day, and I'm mm-hmm. like, I did that. I did that. <laughs> I know, and it's not just some. Uh, billboard that sits still it's constantly moving Changing, yes. yeah and sometimes i see my likeness up there and i go oh lord there i am <laughs> and there's the event and i i'll ask sarah i was like who did that oh jocelyn did that i'm Aww. like oh she did that for me 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 <laughs> but um and once you got into your groove here and it was legitimate and your parents like okay you're really doing things with cars and uh what did like did you talk to your classmates Afterwards, I know after you know graduation from high school, like what I've told my kids, the day you get your diploma, that's the last time that your your class will be together. Then yes. you're you're all to the four winds for the rest of your lives. And college, it's kind of like that too. But uh, did you keep in touch with anybody? And they like, what are you doing now? You know? No, not really. Uh, we all go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually um, stayed in touch with some of the professors. There was one professor, Miss Salas. And she actually helped me from, because I was struggling with school and everything. And she actually, like, helped me point to the right direction. And she was so happy um, for me and saying, like, wow, congratulations. Like, you got what you wanted. That's awesome. So shout out to Miss Salas there, your prof. was, And uh, you got your, you walked the carpet and everything. You had your cap and gown. Yes. And which degree was that? It was the associate's on. Design technical graphics. Awesome. Yes. And your doctorate? No. Um, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not We're shooting yet. for that one. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. But that was like 2016. What? Oh yeah. yeah. That's for the for the kids in in high school right now. They're going. Oh, that's like umpteen years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Oh my god. That's so so, <laughs> that long, so ago. long ago. Was it eight years? I'm no, still six years. young, guys. <laughs> yeah. No joke. No joke. <laughs> yes. And uh, that was your major. Let's see here. Because I did get my bachelor's. So, so what other, what other degree did you get? Did you you had to get another degree, not yes. just an associate's? Yes, I wanted to. That was a personal goal for me, mm-hmm. like still get um, my bachelor's degree. And I did take a few years off just because life got in the way, and I was uh, just because life got in the way mm-hmm. doesn't mean I didn't want to stop doing mm-hmm. what I wanted to do. So I still stayed working here, and I became an official employee. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no more yeah. intern. And I, <laughs> and I was, well, Sarah gave me the opportunity to do, well, she always sat us down every year, like, hey, what are your goals? What do you plan to get out of this job? Mm-hmm. And I always told her graphic design. So she would slowly give me little tasks here and there that were related to what I wanted to do. And by the time I went back to UTRGV to get my bachelor's, I was very ahead with yeah. my other classmates. Yeah, that's and that's one thing I've noticed here. Uh, I I say it with all the love and reverence, but digital, it's, uh, how should I say? I've seen a few faces rotate through, and uh, the, the street teamers and the digital folks, y'all are here for just a little bit. And that's a couple of years. I mean, that's, you know, in our entire lifespan, but y'all go on to bigger and better things. And I'm, and I am thankful for Sarah Robledo. She was on our previous podcasts that she allows y'all to express yourself, but also she stays on y'all and, uh, you know, you're young and vibrant and what to do. And I've actually run into some of, uh, our past street teamers and digital folks. Recently, I got to see Jaime Leal. Oh, yeah. I saw Jaime. Where did I see him at? I think it was at the stock show of all places. Oh, okay. I was like, you want to get in the suit? You know, be with me? He's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> and I know uh, Mike Gonzalez. Uh, Mike's still out there playing in the band. Uh, what, was, what do we call him? Oh, yeah. He, he was a, a very handsome young man. I was like, oh, that's Magic okay. Mike. You know, <laughs> I used to call him that in the microphone. They'd say, hey, who's that? That's Magic Mike. And he's like, would you please stop calling me that? No, it brings people to the booth. Trust me. <laughs> But but they've gone on to some bigger and better things. Yes. And you're about to spread your wings. Yes. And we're we're not just sitting here counting down on a calendar. We're actually doing it with a watch. Yes. We're you're you're 
Texas is going to be in your rearview mirror. Or yes. I should say the, the wheels will leave the ground. <laughs> Goodbye, hot weather. Oh, oh yeah. And where is she going? She's you're gonna you're doing graphics now for Starbucks, right? Oh, I wish. Oh. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> That's the goal. It's like all the coffee you can drink. It's like yes. it'll keep you awake and behind. But you are going to the Pacific Northwest. Yes. Seattle. Uh, Seattle. See, Seattle. the home of Starbucks. Yes. She's inching her way there, folks. <laughs> so, and you've already got the job locked down and everything. They're like, this South Texas girl's going to come show us how it's Yeah, done. I'm so long. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, but it doesn't mean I'm done with Paint Auto Group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still doing graphics for them and everything, but it's time for me to explore. There you go. What's more out there. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I, I know. Well, hey, you're spreading your wings, but that's the great thing about the digital platform is you're you're you'll still be with us. You yes. Know? So still if, part of me. I mean, still part of the valley will be with me. Oh yeah, digitally. Digitally. <laughs> like, send <laughs> me pictures graphics. of the hot weather. <laughs> <laughs> Take your umbrella. You're gonna need it. The the one time I was in Seattle for a few days, where the family we were going on a an Alaskan cruise, and we had like three days in SeaTac. And I said, hey, we scored some tickets to the Astros Mariners game. And oh, that was okay. yeah, that was during their winning season. So I'm thinking, we're gonna land up there and it's gonna be cold and rainy. It was like seventy eight and sunny, and I'm yes. going, um, is this special? And the, and the people are going, Yeah, you're special. They like, this it it doesn't do this all the time. And it's a hot day for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here with the jacket. Yeah, we sat in the shade. I was like, Ooh, I'm cold. And there's people in t shirts going, What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. You're obviously not from here. I was like, mm -mm. it's like you would melt. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but uh, and have you already been up there to scout it out? To yes, I've been there a few times already, um, and I actually been close to the it's that football field. Oh, the yeah, the stadium yes. up there. Yes, Mariner I'm stadium. actually gonna live a few miles away from <gasps> oh. there. Yeah, and I'm actually a few walking. Steps from the original Starbucks, too. Oh, wow. That's so we know where to get our baseball tickets and our, cu <laughs> our cup of joe from. Yes. So so you're going to be doing graphics up there. Is it going to be the same with still graphics? Are you going to go into maybe some audio video? or? I really don't know. Because sometimes, I mean, some people, they cross, you know, cross over to the dark side. Like, come on over <laughs> here and do this. But you've done graphics for uh, some of the video stuff. Yes, I have. But I feel like I want to venture into the UX design. Which what is, what is UX? So it's just like mobile web design. Oh, yeah. and you're just designing mockups. You're not doing the actual thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, concept art. Yes, there you go, concepts. I see. That's some of the cool stuff. Like uh, for everybody who's a Star Wars fan, these new Star Wars movies. When I remember seeing the stuff in the trailers, like with the X-wing fighters, I'm going. I remember having a book on the concept art, and that's what they based it off. The original yes. 1976 concept art is what they t they brought nowadays. And I went, man, this is cool. Yes. And it's always nice to see, you know, what was it Disney had? The Land of Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like all that. I love all that Art Deco or 50s, uh, what do they call it, atomic punk deco stuff. Yeah. So you're going to be doing web design like for another auto group? or uh, No, not. Well, right now I'm planning to do Google Offers Certificate Program. Oh, um, nice. Programs, yes. To do, it's like a six month boot camp. And it's Ooh. just intense. And now that I'll have all the available time, I mm -hmm. want to jump into that. Cool. And and she still has time for pain, yes. and I love it. <laughs> Are you going to do anything with, uh, like, whoever, hired, like, a hired gun hires you on? you going to do any, uh, like, gaming graphics or anything like oh, that? Or no. just, like, banner ads and stuff? I want to do the web stuff? design. Oh, the web design. Yeah, okay. Web and design. that's the UX stuff? Yes. Yeah, because everything now is digital. You know? Oh, yeah. I know guys that, it's like... Hey, you still play an Xbox? Or like, no, nah, it's all for my phone. Oh, it's like, yeah. wow, because yeah. they're on the move. Yes. So I was, I was curious, and uh, looking back on what you did at Payne with the graphics design, what was some of your favorite stuff that you did? Like the some of the first stuff you did that you know you put your stamp on it, where you went, that's mine. And in your, what was your, what was your first like little gold star for yourself? I think it was more. Recording the videos, mm -hmm. like Sarah said, like here's a camera, here's <laughs> <laughs> Premiere Pro and After Effects. Do what you need. And I did a lot of research because I never recorded, mm -hmm. other than like for fun mm -hmm. for me. But she wanted like good quality um, footage, mm -hmm. and this well 
edits too. So I looked up, well, I did research and I finally went on my own. And finally, like this great video came out. And that, that was, you did? Yes. You filmed <laughs> and it's on and you YouTube, edited. guys. Yeah. Well, a group. <laughs> yeah. Which, which video is it? Um, It'll go back a couple of years, yeah, but still. It was way back. I did a few of the Ford okay. models. I forgot. Probably the Raptors. Oh yeah, the when they, Raptors. Yeah, that's probably the when they went from. One. Oh, okay. and I was a big Jeep fan. Like, I had my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> and those were the Jeeps. Oh yeah, and that's I tell you what, that's those are strange folks. They, <laughs> I mean, I've seen you know the muscle car folks and the truck folks and Jeep people. They are their own breed. I don't know what planet they're from, but they. <laughs> you know, and now they're of course factory tuned. You, you, you know, we had we covered that with uh, Tony and uh, Vanessa. But your that feeling you get when you see it, and you go, "I made that." Yes, and then when you add the whole social media like engagement, mm -hmm. all the likes, all the comments, and you get to see the metrics, yes. like all the t the stuff. Saying, yes, this is how many people sharing. liked it. So like umpteen thousand people liked what I did. Can I keep my job? Yeah, I know what <laughs> you mean. I'm okay. I'm okay at this. My dad is very proud. He's not from the area. He oh, lives really? in Dallas. And when he came down, he was just telling all his friends, like, Oh, my daughter did that. Oh, my daughter was a part of that. <laughs> Give and me your like, phone. I'm gonna show you what else my daughter does. <laughs> yes. He's so proud. My daughter's gonna work for Starbucks now. <laughs> no, Dad, I, I I take my time off and I do graphics at That's Starbucks. That's my my time. <laughs> yeah. So are you what what is that dream company you would love to work for? It is Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been applying and applying, but hey, if I manifested the graphic design, mm -hmm. I can manifest <laughs> Starbucks in the future. Oh my god! But Amazon, any of those? Oh, the big yeah, the big five. What's the the big five? Is Amazon, Google, Facebook, Facebook. Uh, eBay? Not eBay. On Amazon, Google, Facebook. I've been quizzed and I forgot. Oh my god. Uh, is it like Lyft or No, Lyft? no, it's like the like the top five tech companies. Amazon, Google, there's somebody out there screaming at their their <laughs> phone like right the now. Like, like, god, this guy's so dumb. It's Amazon, Google, uh Facebook. Facebook. What I, else? Google it. I have to Google. <laughs> I know. Das Googling. <laughs> but yeah, the big uh Twitter? Is it Twitter? I don't know. It's getting pretty big. Somebody said that now that Elon Musk has acquired it, they said, what's, what's the meme? It says, he needs to change the name of it to MySpaceX <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or it's all for nothing. And I went, okay, that's a good one. That is a good one. I know. It says Microsoft and Apple. Microsoft and Apple. Yeah, there yes. we go. Of course, here of I am, course. you know, rocking a Mac. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's right in front it's of you, like stupid. right in front. You know, it's like, you got a Mac and an iPhone. <laughs> We're talking about Apple. Yes, Apple, which I'm probably due for an iPhone upgrade. Hopefully. Oh, I just upgraded mine. I love it. You know, that's one thing. You were talking about video, and uh, we do the videos here for Facebook, Instagram, and stuff. We show vehicles and our uh, sales associates. I'm I'm still rocking an iPhone 11. <laughs> All right, yeah. They're like, ooh, you're so behind the times. Oh, I'm s such a caveman. <laughs> But these new three lens cameras, y'all are shooting without a gimbal. Yes, and it's so stabilized. It's like, yes, it is. It's so like surprising. Like you don't you don't have to worry about your hand shaking. Man, I used to you used to see my rig. <laughs> I had a a selfie stick. Oh my god, what are those? I had a selfie stick. I put my phone in there. I put a carpenter's wood clamp, like one third the way down, and I had an old wrench I taped on to make the poor man's. Uh, steady cam gimbal, <laughs> and now it's like the software is just taking off. It's crazy. Yeah, I like, love it. Like, uh, and it's I don't know if y'all are you know it probably started with y'all doing all this graphic design stuff. Like the first time I saw those Snapchat filters or whatever, where it makes oh, yeah. like the dog ears, and now the the Facebook Messenger or something and I feel does like that. TikTok too. Like yeah, that's, that's right, TikTok. Role. I know the artsy videos. That's on the side of TikTok. I am. I recently heard there's like 700,000 people on TikTok. I'm not surprised. In the valley. Oh, my God. 700,000 okay. in the valley. Oh, wow. That number is unconfirmed. I I won't say where I heard it from. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was like, no way. I was like, hey, are you on TikTok? I'm like, 
man, I'm just getting used to Instagram. Instagram. Here. Like, I'm like, still on Facebook. I, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. It's like, well, they say, Facebook is for people who like to argue. And I'm like, well, yeah. you know, but then again, you know, I get on Instagram and, you know, I watch cat videos, man. Oh, yeah. It's cool. You know? Mine is a coffee. That's <laughs> how they make it and stuff. Yeah, different little coffee recipes. Oh, really? Oh, man. You yes. know what? I'll do screen captures because that's how <laughs> stupid I am. I'll do, I've will do. i got a couple in my videos. Like, like there's this one gal. She makes, uh, I was like, I'm going to show you how to make this special casserole. And I'm just sitting there going, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, this is going to take some time. But, oh, I'm going to do that. And then I file it away and I forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Do you actually do them? I don't. There's uh, the one I really want to do is the... Uh, the snicker bar in a pan. Oh. There's, yeah, it's home. It's a it's a snicker bar in a pan. Like I need more sugar and carbs, <laughs> but I'm going. You know, I remember back in my day. I remember when Snickers were like fifty cents. Oh my goodness! And Just a regular like a dollar fifty. Uh, <laughs> That's it, a lot, dude. It used to be a uh, yeah. It used to be seventy five cents for a king size. Oh, <laughs> and, ooh. Oh. And now it's like this is what eighty eight cents gets me. You know, it's like yes. it's like three times the size of a fun size. <laughs> yeah, you know? but uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, just keep us up to speed on what you're doing with that. I mean, if you're doing the graphics for all these these big companies and whatnot, I mean, I can't wait to see what you do next. If you if you make me look good on a <laughs> billboard, what else can you do? So, and that's. Every time I look at the billboard now, I'm going to come in and ask Sarah, did Jocelyn do that? It's like, yes, Chris, it's the internet. We actually, <laughs> it goes between towns. It's like, thank you. Thank Across you. the country. <laughs> I know. And that's the thing. You'll be, when you be in here in the office and y'all are having a meeting and I walk in and I don't want to butt in, but y'all, the way y'all start talking about, oh, these metrics and y'all start throwing acronyms and I'm sitting there thinking, is this what it's like when I'm talking to somebody else about the army and somebody walks in the room. It's y'all's own lingo, like UX. Yes. It's like there's there's uh there's Windows, there's OS X, and then there's Linux. And so what UX is like just the actual program for the design or No, it's just like a concept. Just like, Oh, okay. Uh let's say a client saying like this is what I'm envisioning, mm -hmm. this is what I want, and you bring that idea kind of to life. Mm -hmm. But then you give that idea to someone who's going to develop mm -hmm. that idea and actually bring it to life where yeah. you can interact with it. Yeah. And, and you know, it always they, they say there's nothing there's no new ideas. Everything's revamped. But sometimes it it seems so fresh and new. And I think that's the thing with marketing. We have to keep it fresh. And some of the tools you all use. And of course, I'm a gearhead. I love this stuff. Like when I went from a flip phone to a smartphone. <laughs> Oh, wow. And then uh, when I saw y'all have these iPro, iPad Pros oh, yes. with those Apple pens, uh, I have an older iPad. When I got one of those, I got a Logitech <laughs> pen. And I thought it was the coolest thing because oh, I could yeah. sit there and write, and then it types it out. And now, like, the uh, all these comic book uh, creators, it's like a giant... Uh, iPad that they're yes. drawing on and the graphics look like that. Now, I know you're probably using a mouse a lot, but do you do freehand art or anything like yes, that? Yes, I started, I actually got an iPad and a pencil for awesome. that reason. I wanted to get back into the whole drawing side of myself and I just didn't want to buy the paper and the pencil. Uh, <laughs> it's and, expensive. Yeah, and uh, I'm the son of a graphic designer. My dad taught commercial art down here at a high, in a high school. Getting back to the basics of, you know, just pushing the pen, and does that really help with the with the creativity? Oh yeah, especially when I get like now I get like a I actually received a client to receive a new logo, mm -hmm. and I could have just got on the computer and started brainstorming but i actually got my ipad and my pencil and started sketching different ways that's of awesome creating a, a and you logo. can choose you can choose if it's like fine or mm -hmm. if it's uh what do you call it like a all the brushes and, and the charcoal and all yes. that and, and that's the thing it blows me away i'm going there's no way and then i'm on youtube and i watch these marvel and dc guys and gals sitting there just drawing and it looks like real paper mm -hmm. and pen and you can actually buy the screen protector yeah. That feels like paper. So the pencil The texture. Just, yes. Oh, my God. And I notice you have to switch out some of the tips because they do wear down. Yes. But it's an actual textured thing. Oh, Lord. 
Yes, it's a whole new deal. Yeah, where does it end? <laughs> the the pencil helps you tap that part of your brain where it's just nice and fresh. Yes. And and new and you and you came from an arc like an architectural thing oh, like yes. that was your I, foundation. No pun intended. Yes. <laughs> but did it did it branch out into anything else? I mean, it's like some people like doing the comic book stuff or the human form, which Dad said was one of the hardest things to draw. Oh yes. And you know he used to you know. He used to say, you know, remember those pinup girls from World War II? Of course, people under, they're like, huh? What's that? <laughs> What's that? But uh, when you're, are you just doing stuff, just not just text on a screen and textures, but you're also doing other, like, like you have to draw a car. I mean, we're here in the car business, and usually we're shooting pictures of cars. But what was that stuff called back in the day? Clip art? Oh, you know, yes. <laughs> like, like, are you designing anything like that? Is that part of the new job? or? Um, not really. I do want to get into that. Mm -hmm. It is fun. I do love the whole, the people who do stickers for businesses. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds cool. But no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> stickers and, and buttons. Vote, yeah. vote for. <laughs> vote for. <laughs> vote for Pedro. What's the thing that you learned about the car business that you liked the most? Like the things that kind of caught you off guard and then you fell into it like what are the things that really pop up in your head about that? Well, I came from a family history where we didn't buy new cars mm. just because my family thought, like, new car, expensive. Mm -hmm. So you'll never get out of that. And working here and just paying attention, especially when I would do videos or pay, just paying attention to all the salesmen, I did learn what's a process of get, buying a new car. Mm -hmm. And I learned, like, oh, it is important to raise my credit. It is important to save for a down payment mm -hmm. and just to find a deal that's suitable to you or what you're yeah. comfortable. Um, I also learned, like, what to do. I am a girl. But, like, what to do when that engine light turns on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... I just panic and I'm like, get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, the, the light came off. Throw the whole car away. Yeah. No, Time for no. A new one. <laughs> no, Lord. <laughs> but no, now I know that what to do and bring it in and yeah, they check everything. So that's <laughs> what I learned. And when... <laughs> with with all the uh, OJT with on the job training, which is some of the best way to learn how to do something, you know, getting your hands dirty and and whatnot. What are some of the OJT things you did uh, that goes along with your graphic design? Like when I know you said Sarah started you out like here's this, here's this, here's your imagination. Stay kind of stay within this box, but you know, shoot for the moon. Yes, I remember she gave me the branding book. Guidelines. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, and she's like, I want you to learn this, like w the textures and everything. And from the previous graphic designers, I would pay attention to like how they would overlay text on mm -hmm. texture background. And then I think she started noticing like I was actually applying those to my designs. And she's like, how would you feel about doing the LED? And I was like nervous. I was like, oh my God, that's different from Facebook. Like it's live right there. Since we are in a digital age, I mean, my kids are in their early teens. What advice would you have for them, like on the high school level into the college level? And what should they, what are those stereotypes they should ignore? And what's the reality they need to accept? What, what advice do you have for them? Well, I mean, everybody's going to have their own ideas and, mm. like, I can do this better. But I think it's being open to the critiques of people, crit oh. crit um, critiquing your work. Um, I remember Sarah was very hard at first mm -hmm. and very, like, um, you know, like, how do I say but, well, Like when you're trying to find your feet. Yeah. Yeah, when you first start out. Uh, yeah, and you can easily have your feelings hurt like oh mm. i gave it my all but in the long run it helps you to <laughs> have a final design yeah you know, like develop a thick skin yes. but then again you're working oh, yes. with a team and you realize what the boss wants and sarah that's that's one of sarah's beautiful saving graces is she's <laughs> very direct she's like you know what i know you did a good job on this you know and it looks good but that's not what we're looking for yes this is what we need <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. And you can be very sensitive. I mean, people will get very, like, 
offended by it, mm -hmm. but you just have to be open because not everybody's going to agree with oh, yeah. your concept. And in the end, it's what the client wants. Exactly. But once they're in that real world, you know, because college is still kind of a, a laboratory that's a controlled environment. But, yes. But as they start interning, because you interned while you were in college. Yes. So it's, you would get a taste of this and then go back and go, hey, y'all, I've been out there. It ain't what you think. Yeah. Like the teachers are sugarcoating yeah. the real life. Like there's going to be some aggressive clients. There's going to be um, like other competition. Mm -hmm. Like other graphic designers can do it better. So like how can you stand out from everyone? And maintain an edge. Yes. Man. And what's what's one of the big things they need to really look out for somebody going into this field besides their feelings getting hurt? What is some of the best advice you can give them for day one of their job? Okay, I should say, as an intern, when you're stepping through the door, what's what's some of the things they need to look for and and uh, mind their P's and Q's on? <laughs> <laughs> this question caught on, got me off card. It's all right. Um, let's see. Oh, can you repeat that? Sure. <laughs> like being an intern on day one, you're walking in. I know it's probably a little scary. But then again, it's, you know, uh, a new beginning of sorts. What what advice would you give somebody walking into that first internship? Well, you'll be scared. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll be scared. But don't be afraid to sh to give your creative side. Um, everybody started mm -hmm. at some point. So, and you'll eventually get there where, like, the next person comes in, you'll you'll know what to look out or how to help that new person. Now, you've done a lot of work here with Paint Auto Group, and I know you probably have other clients. And, uh, you know, that's the great thing about being an artist. You're not just painting on one canvas. But you've gotten some awards and accolades, have you not? Yes. Yes. What do you got? Come on, so, spill it. So, on 2019, I, it was a student award because it was a mix of students and actual profession mm -hmm. uh, professionals. And I received the gold award for the American, ad, the advertising, American advertising mm -hmm. eight awards. And it was a group project. And guess what the project was? was. It was sales and marketing. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I do here. No joke. Now, here's the thing. You said it was a group project. Did yes. you do all the work? I, we did. We? We or me? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, Jocelyn works out that auto group. She knows what she's doing. I pointed us to the right direction. Oh, okay. You didn't let, you didn't unfurl your coattails and go. All right, everybody, hop on. Yes, I was like, what if we add this? And they're like, oh, okay. So <laughs> you could have done the whole thing yourself. I could have. Yeah. 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 What a team y'all were. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like people I don't even know. No, that's cool. Yeah, it's but that's that cutting edge, mm -hmm. that cutting edge, that OJT, that real world experience. Yes, and now you can. Yes, because all the assignment was given was, um, I want twenty five different postcards designs, and I want a package design. Oh, yes. So, and then of course there was more other things, but I was like, okay, to make it sound like a real client because it was a made up. Yeah. Business. <laughs> Brand was, X. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's add the mission statement. Let's add the actual typography, the branding colors and the demographic yes. of who we're selling yes. our widget to. Yes. And it worked and we got first place on, awesome. that, on that award. Awesome. What else you got? What else it you, you come on. You 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 you've got to do more than that. Well, I Come was on. honorably mentioned for other projects. There you go. Later down, but um, I didn't receive anything. I was just oh, honorable. Honorable. I got honorable a good mention. meal. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that award. Yeah, honorable mention. You get a plate too. <laughs> yeah. Two scoops of tater salad for you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that goes. And two scoops of tater salad ain't nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Here's a tough one. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, going back to the stock show, like, bye. <laughs> What's it you're going to miss the most? Uh, like the events? Well, not well. I mean, just overall here, I mean, with Payne Auto Group in the Valley, 
Like, what are you going to miss the most? I am just going to miss everyone I know. Oh. Like, everyone. Like, from, of course, family to friends to my coworkers, of course, you guys. Oh. And so just sweet. starting brand new, like, somewhere alone. Yeah, because down here we do have Starbucks, but up there... They don't have water burger. And you mentioned before we started how to, what a small world mm-hmm. it is, and I feel like my small world won't be small over there. Well, you'll you'll never know. Yes. You'll never know. I mean, just this previous podcast, John Castilleja served with an army buddy of mine, the six degrees of separation. I mean, it, it's insane. You're gonna <laughs> run. You're gonna run into somebody up there, or you're, we're gonna get that phone call like, hey. <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Can you drop sip, ship some uh, Delias up here? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Chicken and cheese with jalapeno. I want those tacos. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Send me some taco palenque. <laughs> well, Whataburger is now owned by an outfit in Chicago. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. They got, yeah. Yeah, no Whataburger over there. Yeah. I'm just, I, it make, I'm concerned. It's not <laughs> Texas I'm owned I'm Mexican. Anymore. I love spicy food. And apparently McDonald's don't even have, like, uh, the spicy bur- the sandwich? The spicy the hot chicken sandwich? Si- hot and spicy chicken yeah, sandwich? They don't have that. They Up only there? have the regular. Oh, Lord. I was like, Lord. is it because it's too spicy? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, my we God. We learned that the hard way. So <laughs> it was tragic. We have, to, we have to start shipping tapatio sauce and <laughs> yes, Tabasco up there. That's hot sauce. <laughs> no joke. We have sriracha. <laughs> I told Sarah the other day because, you know, she's my fellow foodie. Um, and now uh, Maddie Cortez, she's jumping on the bandwagon. Oh. I, those, that uh, that mocha, the mocha lovers um, trail mix there. I brought that to an event, and all of a sudden it showed up here in the office. And I went, <laughs> "Hey, I didn't get that." And Maddie goes, "I did." And I'm like, and Sarah's like, "She's one of us." And I'm like, "Yes," but I was telling, I think I told Sarah, I was like, "Yeah, they have a sriracha ketchup now." Oh my god! I know. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, do you like the Whataburger ketchup with a the spicy one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they made it spicier. They did. Yeah, and no, it. it's limited time, uh, not a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> limited time. <laughs> Avoid in, avoid in Alaska or Puerto Rico where prohibited. Limit one per family, one per household. Must be 18 years or older to participate. That's my thing, disclaimers. I have no idea how do you do that. I don't know how you do it. I, I'm i I'm just a guy that makes memes for fun to make my friends laugh. And then I see you making billboards and all this, and I'm just going, oh, my God. I'm like, I remember asking Sarah, hey, we didn't farm that out. She goes, Jocelyn did that. And I was like, oh, sorry. And she just gave me this glare like, come on, dude. We got it all in house here. We got all kinds of talent here. And that's one of the fun things about working in this department is that everybody is good at what they do. Like you do your audio and all of that. That's like whoa. Like how do you do that without stuttering? Or oh, oh, I stutter. Oh, <laughs> and trust it just me. comes out clean. And then there's what I do, and then what the photographers do, and then what Enrique does. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Josue out there in uh, Rio. Oh my fi- God, his photography. Yeah, he's using his own DSLR. Yes. But then again, Dominic, he has he has one of those three lens phones. <laughs> him and Veto and Maddie, and they're sitting there filming, and I'm, and they and they go, oh, like because I'll I'll take a picture of people. Oh, here's the proof, you know. Oh, I was I was I have my eyes closed. I don't like <laughs> the way my hair looks. So they sit there and they shoot the video we're doing, and they start showing me the video, and I'm going. When did you do this? And they went, we just did this. I went, but that's a steady cam. No, that's the phone. Like we were talking before, yeah. and I'm going, I am so lost. It's like, <laughs> And everybody has their own talent. And then together, yeah, we just bring this massive. Yeah, and, and the moment a project is finished, Sarah goes, that's awesome. Guess what we have next? It's like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, we're not done. <laughs> we're, we're not done. Oh, since y'all did this, I have this. It's like, oh, boy. Yes. Let's <laughs> tenfold. <laughs> And it's it's a whole lot of fun, and I'm I'm so glad that you were a part of it because you know as I've told former bandmates, it's like somebody goes, well, I'm the star. It's like no, it's we're all points on the star, and if we all shine bright, it makes the the band as a whole shine even brighter. I know that's a bunch of philosophical <laughs> no, but it is true gobbledygook. But yeah, I mean the the amount of talent, especially with the. The you know like the the youngsters now it's like you're a you're a seasoned vet you're like you're like here I am. you're like we're old crusty sergeants now you yeah. know we're sitting here and like, you young whippersnappers you know 
You come in and come in here, think you're hot stuff. <laughs> and then we see their talent. It's like, oh, oh crap. you're actually, especially the TikToks. I enjoy the TikToks Paynata group has. Yeah, I know. They're so funny. I know. And, and every, <laughs> I grit my teeth. Hey, Chris, <laughs> we're going to do a TikTok challenge. I'm like, please don't make me dance. Please don't make me dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you think of from the outside, you think mm. of a dealership and it's serious and mm -hmm. business. But then you have like the commercials and the TikTok skits. And like, hey, it's actual people like make having fun. It's yeah, work. I know. There's there's times we'd be in here and we'd say something or show something, and hey, I got this idea, and we start laughing, and there'd be a sales associate or someone walking through, and I'd go over here to service or something. They go, hey, what are y'all laughing about in there? It's like, what are y'all doing? It's like <laughs> we're in marketing. Yeah, but y'all are like having fun. It's yeah. like, yeah, it is. It is fun, and it's not that they don't have fun. They just kind of. It's like, y'all are weird. Yes. It's like, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and I remember people would tell me, like, you're getting paid to be on Facebook. And I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. getting paid. Yeah, I mean. And it's not like, oh, just take a picture and upload. Like, mm -hmm. you have to think of the captions, the hashtags, and make sure your post is better than the last one. Yeah, I've got, I've got to make a couple of posts today. <laughs> I mean, Sarah's always, hey, you got to keep posting every day. I was like, yes, ma'am, yes. I know. I'm trying I tell you what, it's. I'm only wondering where it's going from here. Yes. I mean, I me don't. Too. <laughs> I mean, we got touchscreen phones. We got plastic that feels like paper. I can't people, wait to have the Iron Man. The whole, what is it? When he oh, pulls the, up the screens. Oh yeah, <laughs> with the his fingers. What do you call it? The. Uh, uh, the projection stuff. Wait, what are we talking? Perfect. The holographic. There we go. Like, like I saw that deal. They have. Uh, it's a virtual keyboard. Oh yeah. And it projects out of your phone or something, and you can actually type on the table. I've never tried it, but I've been tempted. <laughs> I mean, and they say, "Oh, Chris, that's been around a long time." It's like <laughs> it's still hoodoo voodoo to me, man. You know. I mean, I remember the first time I pulled up the Weather Channel on a touchscreen phone, and I saw. Live Doppler radar, and I'm going, whoa. whoa. And all of a sudden, here's, here's where you're at, and you're driving into it. I'm going, oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. I mean, now we've got what? Hey, Siri. Hey, Alexa. You know? Yeah, sure. Hey, refrigerator. Hey, it's toaster. It's so funny because I always say, hey, Sarah. And oh, then and my the phone Siri, act <laughs> Siri activates. <laughs> but I'm just calling my boss. You know, and that's the thing. I know I do audio stuff, and I know to get those um, those audio cues... Like I, I remember when they, you know, now we have GPS on our phones, but when they used to have just a GPS unit, oh yes, you could get the Darth Vader one, and it's James <laughs> Earl Jones, you know, like going, turn left, you know, <laughs> and if I'm gonna start using Siri, I'm just gonna talk to Sarah and just go, <laughs> look, I'm gonna have to record you because it's like. I need. Mean, it's like Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, yes, King. <laughs> yes. Sarah coming out of my phone. She actually was the one who taught me about the GPS. Mm -hmm. To I think it's a Google Maps app, but to change your little car, you know how you have that little triangle that says it's your you yeah. driving. Well, she taught me how to change it into a Mario Kart, a little Mario Kart. I don't know. If she didn't show me that. <laughs> it was like a while back. Are I was you like, serious? This is is so it cute. Apple? Is it Apple Maps or Google? I think it's Google. Okay, yeah. Google Map. Okay. I forgot how okay. it's done. No, I updated okay. my phone. She didn't tell me. <laughs> no, I'm, all, I'm all peanut butter and jealous. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd, I'd want that station wagon from National Lampoon's Vacation or a little Millennium Falcon or something. <laughs> no, actually, I want the street team car there. I want. Oh, my, I want my clown yes. car. <laughs> that would be so cool. I know, or the Batmobile. <laughs> I mean, and it would take a graphic designer to do that kind of stuff, yeah. right? Get after it. <laughs> Just get started. I know. See what what would you call it? Uh, pain maps or something? Oh, go. that would be cool. Idea. I know. No, I'm just thinking, I just let the cat out of the bag. We're going to have to cut this out. Yeah, and Sarah, Sarah's going to hear it be like, wait, company secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Paycheck denied. But uh, that'd be horrible. No, that's, no, we're brainstorming. And that's what it, what this job is, just brainstorming. Like, 
You New know, ideas. Microsoft Word, they used, <laughs> they used to have that paper clip. Oh, Remember yes. that? Yes. Did they bring that back? Can they did bring they? that back? I, I think know. you can activate it. You can? Yeah. I think you can. Hmm. I want a little Sarah. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, she comes to me for info and I go, uh, Sarah. And she goes, well, you know, like, yes. And I'm like, I'm a digital dummy. What does this do? And she's <laughs> like, oh, I mean, she, you know, as y'all, as the digital, and she's a manager, she's a honchess. And she has all this. I was like, do you only know about this? She goes, no, the team knows about it too. And she even admitted, she goes, you know, some of these young kids, they're, Starting to show me stuff. I'm like, really? She goes, yeah. And I'll, I'm sitting there thinking, we're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. But yeah. it's, it's changing I know. Fast. I remember every time there was a new feature or something cool to try, um, there was this massive group chat with the whole team. Yeah, I've been in here. Yeah. And you all had your phones out. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, we're trying something new. And I'm going, and I'm going into here. <laughs> Like the, the storage closet is my office. I'm like, I'm going into my office. Hold my calls. <laughs> And uh, I tell you what, it's it's going to be different without you. But mm. you'll still, I was like, she'll be here in spirit. No, she'll be <laughs> here <in> digitally. <laughs> yeah, she'll be here digitally. <laughs> I can see if, if they bring in somebody else, I can see that text. Who did that? <laughs> Who is doing this? <laughs> this is not what's supposed to happen. Do I have to come back there? <laughs> no, but that's the, the beauty of the internet. But I tell you what, and we're we're talking less than forty eight hours, huh? Yes, oh it's my. a countdown. I actually you have a countdown on your phone going. Yeah. Are you serious? By, I think it's the United, the airline. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It has a countdown. So now it says one day. One day. And then I guess after tonight it'll do by the hours. So. What's your final meal here in the valley going to be before you go? It's tough because as soon I didn't tell anyone I was leaving, only like the close people. And my mom posted it on social media. Like, oh, no. She's leaving. This is the last week. And now everybody wants to take me out to eat every day. And I'm like, wait, I need one day for me to enjoy my last meal. And I don't know what that would be. Probably some Mexican food. <laughs> no joke. I was about to say, it sounds good. <laughs> but uh, just say, look, I know y'all want to take me out to eat. I'll send you my address. And this is where you drop ship the, <laughs> drop ship the Delias stuff. to. <laughs> send Delias at Christmas <laughs> and just stage it over time. <laughs> send me those Delias tamales. Hell yeah, dude. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't, <laughs> I'm tr I'm trying to cut down on some things. Oh, me too. <laughs> and then Donna and Sarah are like, "Hey, let's get this." I'm like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh no! It's like I'll jump in. It's the Chick Fil A. I don't know. If she still does a Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah, that. And uh, I think I mentioned it on a previous podcast. Uh, Layman's Pizza at the uh, stock show. Oh. They had jalapeno popper pizza. And my brother, oh yeah, my brother-in-law oh, wow. found out about it, and we put our heads together. We found out some of the <laughs> ingredients they were using, and he's a he's a grill master. Oh, okay. and he goes, I think I know how to do this. And I was like, <laughs> I, I th I'm going to talk to my kids. I think they have mom's recipe book, and she had a homemade pizza recipe. So, oh wow! So I said, let me get that from them, and I'm going to give it to my brother-in-law, and I'll be like, look, all right, here's the <laughs> pizza recipe. Do the glaze and the jalapenos and all that kind of stuff, and tell me how it turns out. That way we can share it sure. with the rest yes. of the world. And oh. not wait till next year. Oh no, I'll send you. No, no, it's digital. I'll send it's it to digital. you. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. <laughs> oh yeah, but I tell you what, yeah, we're gonna miss you here. But I know you'll still be here. I keep saying, yeah, that. me, 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 oh. me, me, me. You gonna drive up there? You gonna do the ride no, share thing? We're gonna. Take a plane. No, but I mean, when once you're there, <laughs> oh, you're gonna drive. You're gonna well, I'm actually gonna be living in the city, so everything is right there. Walking. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, cool. So everything is right there. Um, there's a coffee shop at every corner. Oh, I figured. <laughs> and you know how we have raspa stands here? Yeah, everywhere they have actual coffee stands, just like the little raspa stands. Really? Yeah. But do they have raspa stands? No. It's too cold, I guess. <laughs> no, you can start a trend. <laughs> I, sh I should. Mm -hmm. Bring those spicy flavored ones. Oh, yeah. Well, was that chum... Uh, I like the mango. There you go. With chamoy, yeah. Chamoy, that's what there it's called. Go. Yeah, I was like, Chris, aren't you from the Valley? Like, I don't eat all that spicy <laughs> stuff. It's but too spicy. Hey, but you could... Hey, that's yeah. one thing. 
drop, you know, invest in a friend's business, have them do it, do their graphics, do a trade out. There you go. Yep. That's right. Call it uh, uh, Raspa to you. <laughs> Raspa to you. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, I'm right. starting my marketing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want a nickel every time somebody says it. <laughs> what was that? Spider Man? Green Goblin. I want a quarter every time somebody says it. Um, but yeah, that it's a new area. I mean, mm -hmm. they got coffee stands, but if they got no Raspa stands, got to be the first one, yeah. man. What's it? Remember that? Uh, was a cartoon called The Far Side? Did you ever see it? No. It shows, you know, it was just outlandish stuff they would do and they would show. And it showed these three frogs. And they, one's got a pickaxe. One's got a shovel. Oh. And the other one has like a coonskin cap. And it says, Frog Pioneers. And the lead frog says, they're in the desert. It says, we'll put the swamp here. <laughs> so it's like innovate, you know. So And it's a different scene up there. A yes. total different scene. You're going to go. Cloudy days. Chilly weather. You can just stay in with the Bluetooth speaker. You can go to the club. No, Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, I'm Don't. a very chill girl. Mm -hmm. Movie nights for me. <laughs> no. I'm I'm in graphics. I don't like people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were good at events, but I, I know sometimes there were some people. I like, was mentally exhausted. I know you're, <laughs> and that's why you saw me running away <laughs> as soon as you said it was over. I know. I was like, hey, how how was it? I had to deal with people. It's like, yeah. Kind of part of the job. I'm a very shy girl, but hey, Paint Auto Group helped me with my social that, skills. That's one thing. Yeah, you were quiet when you came in. Yes. I remember asking Sarah. I, I actually asked her, I said, is she mute or something? She talked? And she goes, she talks, Chris. Just give her some time. I was like, okay. But uh, yeah, you opened up and you're a veteran here. And mm. now you're going away. <laughs> Where's the Kleenex? Drop that. Yeah. But no, it, it's all good. On that different scene up there, since you're going to be chilling. Um, with the Bluetooth speaker doing movie <laughs> nights uh, with your man friend. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wedding bells soon or no? Uh, no, not that I know of. Oh. <laughs> hint, 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 hint Romeo. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say, like, they make a joke that you just start um, start talking to your phone? Like, if you say digital camera and then all the ads start coming so up. So, how many wedding dress so. deals are coming in now? <laughs> I just keep doing engagement ring <laughs> to his phone. <laughs> Diamond. So, he thinks it's a sign. Gold. <laughs> That's a marketing strategy. There you go. <laughs> what do the metrics say? I didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like, it's, there's a picture of you and a ring on here. I know. It's like these modern day graphic designers, you know, we all, you yeah. know. <laughs> I'm just it kidding if you're listening. <laughs> it's, right. it's like I keep getting these Jared ads. It's like it's like, wait a minute, that's not an ad, that's my screensaver. Have you been touching my phone? No. No, no idea what you're doing. No. Doing. Well, I know they'll be serving coffee oh, at the yeah. nuptials. Don't spill it on your dress. <laughs> no. I'm already oh my god, let's plan let's plan this. But um well, what kind of music you listen to? Um, I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> I know. Are you serious? Yeah. And that is one thing me and Jaime would bond over <laughs> was oh, Taylor Swift. What did you say? Wand over? No, bond over. Oh, bond over. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, so it's like a Taylor Swift, Harry Potter <laughs> thing? Yeah. <What> are we? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I love Taylor Swift. Um, but You're other than that, I've been, oh, I've been listening to the 2000s punk you almost said oldies. <laughs> oldies. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. you almost said oldies. I was like, two thousand punk. No, but you, you're serious. You're a Swifty. I am. For Christmas, my little sister got me a record player, and my first album was a Taylor Swift. <laughs> which which album was it? It was the Evermore one. Evermore. Yes. Okay. But uh, so you're a Swifty. What's your favorite Swifty song? <sighs> Willow. Willow. Yeah. And I think it's because I like the music video. Oh, really? It, whoever made that was wow! <laughs> like it's so magical. Uh, Feels like a fairy tale. Oh yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. Because I know when, when me with my musical tastes, uh, I've played in a band or two that have played some Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> you know, again, twenty two, <laughs> twenty two, and uh, I was playing. Uh, I was given a list of music. I was like, okay, we're going to play some Taylor Swift songs. That's cool. I'll sit and we're sitting there. Uh, what was it? Uh, Style. Oh, yes. That's another good song. That's yeah. actually my favorite album. 
Okay, that's that's off the, uh, the Evermore album. It's or? called no. This one's a uh, 1989. Okay. And yeah, that one's okay. But Willow. Willow. It's a it's a chill song. <laughs> it's a chill song. And what what what's this song about? I have no idea. That's <laughs> one thing about me. I'll sing along, but I have no idea what I'm singing along to. Like the storyline, I'm not good at that. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. It has to be a heartbreak song. Of course. She's it's, a heartbreaker. She's like, hey, Taylor, uh, <laughs> like, I can see to her right is like her A&R, her artist and repertoire, <laughs> representing the label and her man friend on the left. <laughs> Taylor, uh, we need a new album. Hold on. I need to tell him something. Uh, it's not working out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling so claustrophobic. You're smothering me. It's over. I'll have an album out in about an hour. <laughs> Let me get started. <laughs> That's right. I need a coffee and I need to get all my, have a hen party with all my girlfriends and somebody get me a pencil and paper and let's do some man hating and write it down. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I, I don't. But uh, no, she's, um, what's the one with the, uh, uh, you belong with me. That's the video yeah. with the paper, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The memes the, 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 I love you too. That means, are you okay? <laughs> right now, my buddies listening to this are going, Chris is listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> We're going to make fun of him. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, we need to go over his man card. <laughs> it's like, we need to take him out. Yeah, you're on probation. <laughs> but, uh, so Willow. Okay. Willow. When, I, when I hear Willow, I think of the movie Willow Off Good. You seen Harry Potter? Yes. Oh, the, Professor the, Flitwick, yes. Warwick Davis. Yeah, that's Willow Wofford. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm dating myself. <laughs> All right, get my cane. <laughs> Better be a candy cane. I go for some sugar right now. What's Harry Potter? <laughs> what? I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. And it, no, that's the thing. You know, like people. I remember it was like Lord of the Rings is better than Star Wars. I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's a fight. Here, hold. Hold my iPhone, you know. I'm gonna hold drop my, some facts. <laughs> hold my Walker, and uh, but no, they say you know the Potterverse is pretty cool. As a matter of fact, Vanessa um, Santana, our service manager over at uh, uh, Edinburgh Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, she's a what do you, is it Potterhead? What do you call? It? Oh, I have no idea. I don't. I don't know what to call. It. It's just Harry Potter fans, Potterheads. The Wizard. Yeah. Every holidays, like Christmas holidays, mm-hmm. that's our time to watch awesome. at home. Have you seen the prequels to it? The, uh, the Fantastic Beast stuff? Are I've they... only seen the first one. Okay. But now I feel like I have to watch the second one yeah. to see the new one. You need to see the third one, yeah. yeah. And, and I heard Johnny Depp's in the first two, and yes. for some reason he's not uh, in this one here. I don't know if it's because he's in court or whatnot. I know that's all over the news yes. and stuff, you know. Somebody said, uh, or it's a meme, it says, you know, <laughs> if... Depending on how the trial goes, if it goes in his favor, they said he needs to stand up and go, today is the day you'll remember that you almost <laughs> caught Captain Jack Sparrow. He should do it. I'm just saying that or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I how, would love that. That's, I mean, that's going to be drama incorporated for the next, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Five minutes. <laughs> because yeah. social media changes. <laughs> but uh, let's see. I do a song here for... Uh, Pain Auto Talk and okay. uh, Willow by by Taylor Swift. <laughs> by Tay I know. I might have to change the words because I'm going to say like, <laughs> I love him or something. I'm like, like, I love them or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'll, I'll listen to it right now and see what I can come up with. I think you'll like it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, like I said, some of the songs. I think it's more of a hidden message kind of song. Like I don't think there's "I love you." Oh, okay. Because yeah. I, haven't, I haven't, I haven't even heard the song, but I'll, I'll accept the challenge. I mean, yeah. Sarah, she went. She's like, "I want Fleetwood Mac," and I'm going, "Oh Lord." Oh yeah, that what's that song that went viral for a moment? Oh, from Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, man, they was it off Rumors. No, is it the song I did? I, I, I can't, I can't remember. They, I know it went viral due to some guy. Oh. I saved it. It wasn't me. <laughs> but uh dreams. See. Dream oh. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I got again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you want your free now, yes. baby, you? Yeah. <laughs> That's the song I listen with my windows down, Ooh. my sunroof open. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to say not at the house with the windows open. <laughs> no. 
No, uh, it's a very humid area. Oh yeah. Well, you're not going to worry about that up there. Mm-hmm. You just got to take your umbrella. I'm happy I'm leaving the summertime because I do not enjoy the summertime here in the valley. Well, they got mosquitoes up there too. Yeah. They do. But I don't the, know. I don't know. Do they sound like helicopters, like the one down here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, the couple of times I've been there, I've never really maybe a fly or two. Oh, okay. It's right by the what? Is yeah, because. I went down there. We went to the Fisherman's Wharf or whatever it was down there, okay. like the fish market. Oh, yeah. And they're like tossing fish. Like, yes. hey, check this out. I'm stepping back going, I'm not going to get hit with this thing. <laughs> Just smack you. Yeah. I do enjoy the flowers there. Oh, there's a record shop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right around the corner there. I remember going to that, uh, let's see, uh, our oldest, she got uh, some girls, the Stones. She got some girls, uh, the 78 release. That's one of my favorite Stones albums. But they, I was looking through there, and they, I was looking for ZZ Top stuff, but they didn't have. I was looking for an original copy of first <laughs> album, and then I went to Barnes and Noble, and they had a copy of it. I was like, okay, I'll settle for a modern <laughs> okay. pressing. I'm good. So I got that. But uh, yeah, so you might find a, you know, one of the one day that Taylor Swift LP might be yes. vintage. Uh, you imagine that? that? Oh my I goodness! I know. How old is she now? She's probably... 22? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's almost 30, right? I think she's... Or, oh, wait. Is she 32 already? Because <gasps> I remember she posted, like, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 32. And I was like, <laughs> ah, I get that. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Because <laughs> wasn't she on American Idol or something like that? Was she? Or one of them voice things. She I was. Don't think so. She had She had her curly hair. Yes. <laughs> and she's playing the guitar and everything. I was like, who's this? And all of a sudden, <laughs> she's this big pop star. And I'm like, wow, that chick from TV. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get famous now. Oh, yeah. Sit there and you. American Idol. Yeah. Do you watch that? Mm, no. No. <laughs> Sometimes I do. And some people are very. And that Blue's Clues little video that came up. Oh, yeah. Steve. What's his name? Finally got to do a goodbye. Yes. And I was just crying. I know there's people like 30 years old sitting <laughs> so there like, oh my God, it was so beautiful. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Blue's Clues. And I'm like, oh, y'all didn't get that goodbye. No, he just disappeared. Yeah, it's just one day. And he's a he's a rocker. He's in a band. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, I oh, think so. wow. yeah he's in a band. Good for him. I know. <laughs> they fired me. <laughs> Blues clues. <laughs> you know. But, oh, what a tangent. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get that song out for you. I'm going to. That's right. You heard it here first on Paint Auto Talk. Chris Marshall plays Taylor Swift <laughs> music. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we don't own the rights to this song, but Miss Taylor Swift sure does.
All right, that brings us up to another end, a, a, a bittersweet end to yes. this edition of Pain Auto Talk. <laughs> I've been talking with Jocelyn Josie Marquez of Pain Digital. Uh, she's the one. She does our billboard art, all this stuff, all over Facebook, Instagram. She's on the, you know, the Das Googling, <laughs> you know, whatever the internet dot com dot org dot net <laughs> dot. You know, you need to. You're going to see her stuff whether you like it or not because she's going to be everywhere going to Seattle. Yes. Josie and the Pussy Cats. Oh, I always get that reference. I know, and that's why I had to say it. Jocelyn, I'm going to give the floor to you. What do you What do you have to say in closing? What do I normally? What do normally? Just what, however, however you feel. Mm. It's like a, it's like that sign off. Just you know, Jocelyn. It's it's been a hoot having you on the show. Uh, you get the floor. Just say <laughs> say, say what you need to say. Well, I can't remember the name of the song. I just want to thank everyone, especially the Paint Art Group. Mm-hmm. Um, I started out just by doing reviews and snapping a photo to now where I'm at. And if it wasn't for people like you, Donna, Sarah, um, Mark, Mark and That's Austin, right. yep. um, giving me the opportunity to grow. And if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> Probably in the architecture side. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> but like I just want to thank everyone and all the people I've met along the way. Yeah, including you new kids out there. <laughs> yes, you too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but like Maddie and everyone, I want I just... I don't want to cry. Aww. And just a big shout out to my mom too. She yeah, and was your a folks, bit yeah. skeptical, but yeah, it's right. Shout out to your folks. Yeah, that... she also Yeah, she actually supported me. She's like, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. That's a that's a that's a lot of trust there. Yes. Cool. And yeah, just shout out to to everyone and it was like it was great. It was great. It feels like the ending of The Office when Michael Scott leaves. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't the the airport scene? Yes, and I'm like, oh, that's how I'm gonna feel in 48 hours. We're gonna have to find a new assistant to the regional manager because <laughs> yes. you were you were Sarah's XO, you were executive officer for a while, and now Maddie stepped into that. So. Yes, and I mean, I know the team. There's not. With with a digital team, nobody really, you know, Sarah's the manager, and then it's the team. But Maddie's, she's she kinda, really stepped up. Yeah, just like you did. <laughs> Even though you were quiet, all of a sudden you're out there giving orders. I'm like, ooh, ooh look at her, look and, at her go. And I appreciate that, right? Because who's going to give that shy little person <laughs> an opportunity if she's not giving it her all? And that's what Sarah did. She gave me. Well, she. Gave me the opportunity to grow. She pushed you into, <laughs> yeah. like, pushed she you on pushed stage. Me and she's like, take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I honestly appreciate that. Welcome to Pain Digital, sink or swim. <laughs> yes, and, but you got this. <laughs> yeah, and you and you did a great job. But thank you for being with us, and thank you for being a guest on Pain Auto Talk. This wraps up another edition, a bittersweet edition of Pain Auto Talk with Jocelyn Marquez, going on to bigger and better things in the Pacific Northwest. Where if you're a young intern and you want to sit here and start, you know, spreading those wings a little bit, learning how to fly with Payne Digital, you know where to come here. Make sure you go ahead and log on to PayneAutoGroup.com. That's where you can sign up for your awaiting business and employee opportunities right here. Once again, I am Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team, brought to you by Payne Auto Group Valleywide and PayneAutoGroup.com where we have what you want, including pain auto talk. Lo que tu quieres, regardless, and we are gone.